Hello friends, I am Sunil Ranjan and I am an English teacher. Now in this session I have come up with the word bliss, B-L-I-S-S. -S. So that is pronounced bliss and the meaning of this word is great feeling of happiness. So the meaning is great feeling of happiness. Now we move on, the first sentence that comes here is swimming on a hot day is sheer bliss now it's a very very hot day so when you go swimming you feel very happy so the sentence is swimming on a hot day is sheer bliss now the next sentence is they are celebrating 25 years of wedded bliss wedded bliss means married happiness the, the happiness that comes from married life so they are celebrating 25 years of wedded bliss means they they are celebrating the 25th anniversary of their married life so they are celebrating 25 years of wedded bliss means wedded happiness now the next sentence is it was the perfect recipe for bliss perfect recipe means some reason is there that leads to some happiness so it was the perfect recipe for bliss now the next sentence is is wedded bliss not quite so blissful anymore wedded bliss means happy married life so is it not so happy anymore so this is a comment on the society on the people who live a married life but there is a question whether they are really happy in their married life or not now the next sentence is i didn't have to get up on such a rainy day it was sheer bliss I didn't have to get up on such a rainy day. It was sheer bliss. Means the person was sleeping or maybe I because the sentence begins with I. So <clears throat> I didn't have to get up on such a rainy day. The day was rainy and so I enjoyed sleeping. So that is the meaning. I didn't have to get up on such a rainy day. It was sheer bliss. Means it was complete happiness. Now the next sentence is I left him. I left him sunk in bliss and busied myself in the kitchen. Means I left the person uh, feeling happy and got into the kitchen and became busy. Now the next sentence is, if you like fish, this menu is bliss. If you like fish, this menu is bliss. Means uh, it is talking about some restaurant. So the menu is offered and the uh, Fish items are wonderful in that restaurant. So, the sentence is, if you like fish, this menu is bliss. Means all the food items that are made from fish, they are wonderful. Now, the next sentence is, she looks blissfully happy. Now, she looks blissfully happy. We can use the sentence like this also. The meaning is, she is looking very, very happy. So, she looks blissfully happy. Now the next sentence is he wandered, he wandered deep into the forest, blissful in his freedom. Means he was moving in the forest and he was feeling very free and he was feeling very, very happy. So the sentence is here. So he wandered deep into the forest, blissfully in his freedom. Now the next sentence is a feeling of bliss came over him as he fell asleep. Means as he fell asleep, he felt very happy. So a feeling of bliss came over him as he fell asleep. Now the next sentence is, she sank blissfully into a hot bubbly bath. Means she got into a bathtub and the bubbles were there. So she was feeling very happy. So she felt very happy while taking bath. So she sank, she got into the tub uh, feeling very, very happy. Now the next sentence is, they were a young couple. They were a young couple in the first blissful days of their marriage. Means, the early life, in the early life of their marriage, they were very happy. So, this, <coughs> the sentence is, they were a young couple in the first blissful days of their marriage. Next sentence is, lying in the warm sun. Lying in the warm sun and listening to the sea was sheer bliss. Means, it is lying by the seaside and the sun is up there and the sound waves are coming the sound coming from the waves are coming so the waves are gushing and so uh, that was 
was sheer bliss means it was utter happiness. So lying in the warm sun and listening to the sea was sheer bliss. So that's the meaning. Now the next sentence is the, <coughs> the, the way home is warm bliss. She said cheerfully means while going back to her home she was feeling very happy. So she says the way home is warm bliss means it is sheer happiness while going back to her home. Now the next sentence is the following eight sun filled days were bliss means eight sunny days. So the following means the days that happened after some time. The following means the coming after eight sun filled days means it was all sunny. That was complete happiness. Now the next sentence is we spent three blissful weeks away from work. We spent three blissful weeks means three happy weeks away from work. There was nothing to do. So we spent a wonderful time feeling very happy. Now the next sentence is it is a place where he is blissfully at ease. It is a place where he is blissfully at ease means there is mention of some place where he feels very comfortable so and very happy so the sentence is it is a place where he is blissfully at ease means he feels very easy there now the next sentence is he relaxed in his chair he relaxed in his chair and blissed out on music he relaxed in his chair and blissed out now bliss as a verb also so you can use this word like this also he relaxed in his chair and blissed out on music means he felt very happy while listening to music. Now the next sentence is, she said she had a blissful childhood in London. She said she had a blissful childhood in London. Means she said that she had a wonderful childhood in London. Means she was very happy in London. Now the next sentence is, all those years, all those years I was blissfully unaware of the situation. All those years means mentioning about the time that has gone by. So all those years I was blissfully unaware of the situation. Means the situation had not been very good and the person says that uh, yes he was very lucky not to face that situation. So he was unaware of the situation but he was very happy and he thanks that uh, it was good that he was not aware of the situation. Now the next sentence is how can I ever... How can I ever forget those blissful sunny days? How can I ever forget those blissful sunny days? Means those wonderful sunny days. Means it was sun, sun, sun. So it is a memory that comes to the present. So how can I forget those blissful sunny days? Now the next sentence is they sat hand in hand. They sat hand in hand means holding each other's hand. So they sat hand in hand, blissed out in the sunshine. Blissed out in the sunshine means feeling happy in the sunshine. And they held their hands and they felt very happy. Now the next sentence is, the couple seemed blissfully happy. The couple, uh, the husband and the wife. So the couple seemed blissfully happy means the couple looked very, very, very happy. So that's the sentence. And the 24th sentence that is, we spent a blissful year together. We spent a blissful year means we uh, spent a great year, a wonderfully happy year. So, we spent a blissful year together before things started to go wrong. Means one year was spent very well, but after that some problem arose. So, the sentence says this, we spent a blissful year together before things started to go wrong. Now the next, the last sentence, uh, of course this is the next sentence, but this is the last sentence. And the last sentence is, lunch by a side stream, lunch by a side stream was blissful indulgence. Means, uh, the people are having lunch and someone is saying, lunch by a side stream, means the stream, the water was flowing and they were having lunch there. So lunch by a side stream, what a pleasant experience, huh? So fresh, so natural. So, lunch by a side stream was blissful indulgence. Means it was a very happy moment having lunch by the side of a stream. 
So, my dear friends, here I come to the end of this session and I hope you have understood the sentences and these sentences will help you express your ideas much better and this will have an impact on the people listening to you and this way you can also improve your English communication skills. Well, my dear, if you have subscribed to my channel, well, nice. Uh, if you haven't, then do subscribe because then you will be able to get to know more and more words and they are expressed so differently that you also will get to know how to use the words in a very nice manner. So thank you for watching and listening. Thank you.